What's going on, everybody? Pause here and welcome back to another episode of Hand the of Fate. The more I wonder. What do you wonder? So we're gonna be finally defeating the third and final boss of the. Well, these I don't even know. If, they're not even suits, are they? For some odd reason, I thought they were Jack, Jack, Queen. But then you have the Jack here and Jack of Scales. So never mind. Uh, right. So here, Curse is heavy arrow, or, yeah, heavy arrows. Uh, in combat, projectiles travel at half their usual speed, but inflict twice the damage. And also, mana drain. Cooldown times for weapons and artifacts are doubled. Ooh. Their latent magical abilities make these lizard men feared by all, even their own kind. The suit of scales are represented by these lizard men. Quiet, patient. Lethally subtle and coldly intelligent. Of all the creatures I have incarnated as suits, these please me the most. Uh, okay, what does the time heals do? Oh. Uh, where'd you go, time heals? Uh, the card is new and thus its contents are unknown. Alright. We'll do time heals, because we need to, to figure out what that is. Uh, let's see. I want Devil's Wager. Some cards are locked and cannot be removed from your deck. Okay. Makes sense, mate. All right, there we go. You have taken one of my symbols, but now we begin to play in earnest. Dead my Mascorch. scepter is at stake, and I do not intend to lose it. Well, dude, you better give up, because it's happening. Scales. I have saved the Lizardmen for now, but the stakes have been raised. There is no weapon I will not use against you. Aha, I know what you need. Remember, boy, when someone asks you whether you'd like cake or pie, tell me you want cake and pie. The dealer draws you one food gain card. Nice. Right from the get-go, I gave him one, we get two back. I'm okay with that. I'm a little bit sad that we didn't get uh, some coin. Or, sorry, rather, a, I'm gonna ask to be blast for this time. By whatever strength my people yet hold, may you be protected on your journey. Guardian Angel. Very nice indeed. After your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. The greatest of magical artifacts were forged long ago and have only limited uses before the power is spent. Use them wisely, and they may guide you to victory. Farewell, mortal. Later. Okay, please, for the love of God. On the outcome. I want huge I success, man. You have what it takes. I don't, okay? I really don't. It's gonna be... <gasps> yeah, B! Your light armor makes the crossing easy, and you even stop to dive for some shiny stones on the riverbed that may fetch a few coins. Baller! And now we get a token as well. Finally, we get that. Catch a round. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. Aw, oh, no. I gotta go back, don't I? Well, that sucks. <laughs> okay, so now we gotta go back. That's the only bad thing if you ever like horse mess up uh, your movements there. I'm sure, you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. Nope. I appreciate your efforts. I worked hard on this game. It is a pleasure to see you play. A ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying my presence there. Ooh. Yes. 
the cave mouth. The next step of your journey takes you from a cave out to the feet of an imposing fo Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's exit the cave. Screw it. We're already here. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. A noble like traitor. You are silent. A noble man approaches on a chariot as you walk the streets of Stigal. He notices you and comes to a stop. Greetings, mercenary. I am a collector of rare weapons, and yours intrigues me. Would you part with it for gold? You know what? YOLO! Splendid! I've never seen one of these. Enjoy your newfound wealth. The nobleman rides away. The dealer draws you five. Yo, know, hopefully this will be worth it. One more, one more. There we go. I'm honestly okay with that. I probably shouldn't be, but I did it for the tokens, man. I did it for the tokens. Oh, here we go, alone. The root of all troubles. In a busy market town, you are approached by a shopkeeper on the verge of losing his store. All right, we'll give him ten. <sighs> gold payback. After ten Many steps, player draws three gold cards. Yo. The token is yours. Let us see what you do with your newfound abilities. Ten. Nice. Oh no, not the Devil's this Carnival. Lock more cards if you can defeat not this, this one again. Uh Please though you'd fail your times too. Okay, thankfully we got we did it. Okay. You drift along the various stalls of booth, stop in to look whatever catches your eye. The mysteries of the carnal await you. And when I say carnal, I mean carnival. Oh, thank you. The ringing of bells heralds the approach of a jester. He raises a stick with a small jester head on the top and uses it to engage you in a mock sword fight. He then pretends to be killed by you, making an appropriately dramatic death scene. The crowd boos at you and begins to throw food. You salvage what you can from the mess. The dealer draws you one food gain card. Yo, thanks for the free bread, I'm sure homies! You're grateful for that. I am. It's better than losing permanent health, man. Oh no, here we of go. Course. I don't think I have a shield, do I? A fine way to provoke them. The jack- oh my god, not the jack of legs. Every time, man. Can't this guy just, like, drop it? I don't care. No bail! Oh my god! Okay. Oh, what? That motherfucker follows you? God, I can't believe how much health we just lost. We went down to 29 there. That was bad. It was the narrow fighting, man. Oh, that's all we get is one food gain. Three, and that's it, of course. Oh, thank you, healer. I am so glad you are here. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see what, uh, let's see what, um... Like blessings the the traveler has here. Oh, they don't have any. We can only heal our wounds. Alright. Kind of sucks how much we lost there. But that's okay. That sh we should, uh... 400, I can't believe that. 
It's a good thing I'm not a mage, though. Because, like, if I were, could you imagine how much mana we'd be losing? It's better than trudging along a muddy road. It's true. Certainly. I can't believe how many people... Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. Okay, as you as you say so. While crossing a forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. In exchange for some food, I will tell you everything I know about these lands. I can't. Goodbye then, stranger, the woman says, waiting for you to move on. I'm sorry, if I had more than eight, I would. Our lives are often lived thus, are they not? Pushed back and forth by the whims of nobility or power. All the lands of the kingdom are being overrun with ratmen. Merchants in my land are attacked on the road as they are any traveler such as yourself. My guards are needed here with me, but if I had just 50 gold, I would hire a mercenary army to find their nest and call their numbers. Yo, that sounds like a great freaking deal. A wise decision. I shall begin a campaign against the filthy rats immediately. Also, you may take this blade. With my mercenary army, I won't need to rely on it to protect me. <gasps> what do we get? Ooh, the rat cleaver! Rats have so few friends amongst mankind, yet the two have lived in close proximity throughout the ages and are more similar than either would care to admit. So, with Rat Cleaver, damage is 30, hits against Ratman, inflict double damage. Press 1 to cause a force explosion that will stun enemies. Yeah? Are you sure that's the right approach? Don't freaking question my choosings. Charity 2. Oh, Every God, if he's going to ask for food. Both winners and losers. Without them, it degenerates into nothingness. You encounter a priest wandering along the road. He begs for food to feed the orphans. The gods will show favor to those who help the less fortunate. A worthy decision, the priest ex exclaims. Let me see if I have anything in my sack with which to reward such generosity. Hey, what a jerk. Yep. No luck. I'm afraid, but take my blessing. Headman's blessing. Any kill made look upon using an axe grants the player three health? <gasps> That's a cleaver in the back. Does that mean... Does that mean that works for that? Battle at Brooktop. These places are rife with power. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. Nice. Not really. A light draws you to a nearby hilltop where you see a warlock disappear in a cloud of sulfur, leaving behind his summoned minions. Two of scales and two of skulls. Alright, let's go. Yo, I can't wait to see this cleaver that we got. I wonder how big it is. Because in the uh, little art there, it looks like it's actually really big. It's not that big. It looks pretty neat, a burrito, though. have huge ass swords oh god bail okay 
I thought I was gonna get hit there. Dude, we really gotta rely on, like, on countering attacks. Okay, one li wait, one listen. I can't believe these guys are still alive. Right in the anus. Okay, so, well, the lizard men are gonna be kind of like a little tanky fight, so yay. After the battle, you search for bodies for loot. The, dr the dealer draws two game cards. Please, uh, okay, well, that's actually really good. As you climb down the other side of the hill, you spy what looks like the remains of an ancient temple on another nearby hilltop. The card's token is now yours. I mean, we could just do this, right? Good fortune. Nice. Rat, oh! <gasps> the rat man, it's gonna do 60? You stumble upon a ratman hunting party prepared to defend yourself. Ten? Ten fucking rats? Yo, you gotta be absolutely kidding me. Let's go after, let's go after the, the range guys first. Oh no, I think I was poisoned there, wasn't I? I always admire a man who can turn an enemy's force against them. Oh my god. And... That's how you kill him, with the force! We're basically a Jedi. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. 10 of them? Absolutely redonkulous. Thank God the Jack of Plades. Find nothing of value? He is not your Duke, remember. He can only ask, not order. The There's Apprentice. There's a token in it for you if you win. One day you happen upon a young wizard practicing his magic in the forest. He greets you in a friendly manner and beckons you closer. I am but of an apprentice wizard with many debts to my mentors. For a small fee, I could transport you to the destination in a faraway land. Yo, let's try it out. You head over the gold and the wizard prepares himself for casting. The young wizard waves his wand saying, Don't you worry! I'm almost always successful in transporting myself to the other places. Luggage is a little trickier. After arriving at your destination, you continue your journey. Where exactly is my destination? The lizard men are nothing if not patient. He waits for you. A wife's fury. Win this and claim my token. While traveling through a small town, you're accosted by a furious woman who shouts at you from the door of her homestead. You there! You look like you can handle yourself! My husband was supposed to be home hours ago, but instead, he's with his pals drinking away all our coin. Uh, they left the spoils from their latest job here. If you go and teach him a lesson, you can take your pick. What do you say? Go yeah. yeah, let's do it. Now, here's someone with some sense. I would go crack a skull myself, but our dragon cow is birthing a litter and might burn the whole place down. A dragon cow? You find the woman's husband. Poor Jack. Are you fucking... His place is so much lower than ours. He merely repeats the same motions over Two? and over. Incapable of change. All right. A choice. Select your oh, I can't believe that. That is legit. The man's eyes you want. Wait, the man eyes you uncertainly, but agrees to go back with you. Once home, the wife hands you a sack, saying, "Take your pick. The card is now yours." <gasps> Ooh, that health tonic looks good, but 
more interested in the equipment. I'm sure you're grateful for that. I am. Here. Take it. Thank God I didn't have to fight them. That would have sucked. Stranger in the shadows. Aha. The Count enters the picture. On a dark, moonless night, down a lonely road, you encounter a hooded stranger. Greetings, friend. I am in need of some sustenance. Would you be willing to offer some of your vigor in exchange for gold? He asks, taking out a bag of coins. Yo, let's do it. The stranger moves with unnatural speed to grasp you firmly and bite at your throat. After a few seconds, he releases you. Thank you. He says, handing you some gold as you regain your composure. I am not yet sated. Would you like to earn more gold? No, I'm fine. As you wish. The stranger remarks and melts into the shadows. I feel... I don't know how... How should I feel? This guy just drank some of my blood. I thought he was going to give me some of the food. Heroes remain. So often, this is how the story ends, is it not? The hero tries. The hero dies. Their memory is celebrated, but they are lost. You pass a funeral. It's obvious from the size of the procession that the deceased was a well-loved figure. You are approached by the cleric. The great hero fell defending a beloved town of Wandermere. His sword and shield are powerful artifacts, but must be returned to his hometown for the proper burial rites to be completed. Will you do this, traveler? Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. This will mean the world to his family. The town would have revolted had these artifacts not been returned. It's not far to the hero's hometown. Look for the town cleric when you get there. Ooh, the Viking blade. Such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. A shield dash... Wait, shield bash deals damage to opponent. Damaging... Oh my god. Hail yeah. Heavy burden. Ha. Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. Okay, thank you. Sleep at the inn. What sort of scoundrel would go through a sleeping man's belongings? While sleeping at an inn, you jolt awake to find a bandit rifling through your belongings. You are quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. The bandit laughs, clearly drunk. Easy there, princess. Spare an apple, would you? There's a good lad. He, steads, he stands unsteadily, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. You grab his arm in protest and earn a punch to the face. Looks like Nancy here wants to fight. The bandit laughs again, spits at your feet, and then leaves. Uh, yo, we can't let this guy just spit on us. That's fucking disgusting. With one practice swing, you execute a surprise gasp in the last sound he makes. Suddenly, the room fills with the bandit's lackeys. Yo, this guy's going through my shit. You think I'm just gonna sit there and let that happen? Mm-mm. Oh man, I don't know. Oh my God, we are so fast. <laughs> Get wrecked. So you get for taking my food, dude. I don't care who you are. Thieves dealt with. You accidentally wipe your brow with a hand slick with the blood that has run down your weapon. You turn, hoping to find a wash basin and find yourself once again in the presence of the ghost from the forest. Its eyes, so familiar, so real compared to its shifting body. Look at you in fear. You took the lives so easily. Are you already lost? Remember who you are. Remember who you were. I have lingered too long in this place. It drains so. 
do not forget me. You blink and the ghost is gone. Those eyes, gone. He was drunk though, man! Look, look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it back. I, Cause I think, well, we got it here. One, two, three, four. So let's say it's here, right? No matter, it's if it has to either be here, here, or here. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm returning the hero sword. Thank you. This blade will once again be wielded in righteous fury. Do you also have the shield? Truly, you have done the almighty work in returning this shield. Thank you. Blessed are we who protected can feel or er, fell those who trespass against us. Useful. They gained twice. Nice. And toxic blood. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Thank you. Lost in the now desert. Now reached a point from which the path ahead is unclear. What will be your solution? You find yourself lost and alone in a desert. We can pray to the old gods for salvation. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. Huge. Oh my God. Oh. 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 All right. Your prayers go unanswered, and you are shot by an arrow. Looking up, you see bandits approaching. Oh my god, two monster. Wow. Seven enemies, four plague, three dust. Yo, are any of these... Okay. I, for some odd reason... Oh! Oh my god! Just barely, barely reflected that shot. Okay. All I can say, it's a good thing we had that cleaver for those rats, though. The damn plague. Sell what we can, and you make your way food. out of one food. Change, one food. One food. Oh. A little. Fleet cuffs increase the wearer's movement speed. Uh, yeah, that's legit, dude. The Jack of Scales. Now a fight for the ages. I expect greatness. Ooh. The lizard man's potency allows him to nullify the magical abilities of the player's weapons and artifacts. The latent magical abilities make these lizard men feared by all, even their own kind. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. Alright, dude. That's okay. So we got four scales, including the boss. Oh my god, that is a huge fucking tail. Whoa! Dude, these fleet cuffs... That's my, that's my slogan. Bail from that tail. Is this guy really not dead? There we go. Yeah, 
Yo, we're not doing too bad, though. Whoa, what the hell just hit me? Look at them. These puny little lizards wish they had the tail of their boss. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're good now. Yo, that... That's stunned, though. <gasps> Yo, that lizard was actually really easy. Honestly, was a little bit more terrified. I mean, they're very tanky, but they're very slow at the mm. same time. Well played. Well played indeed. Ooh. You have defeated something that I never expected to die. Well, you thought wrong there, mister. So, with that, we actually earned ourselves the scepter, which we have increased our speed. We start your adventures with more food. New starting gear. Uh, rat man's strength increased. Bandit health increased. Lizard's man's strength increased. At least the boop. Their movement speed is an increase. Sorry, I just had a little bit of a hiccup there, and I apologize. The wand represents my will in the purest sense. It is not too late for you to give up now. Go peacefully to your fate, and leave me to mine. You're just afraid you're gonna lose. To assemble a credible deck. Let us see what happens next. We're diving into the river, the ring of survival. Trading with the noblemen, we received the lovers. For loaning gold to the merchant, we received marketplace. For calling the ratmen, we receive the rat cleaver. For exploring Brooktop Hill, we receive the altar. For purchasing a portal to another land, we received a surprise portal. For going to the tavern to retrieve the woman's husband, we receive the tavern wager. For returning the belongings of the dead hero of Wandermere, we receive War Cry. I was hoping we get that uh, sword, honestly. As a reward for defeating the Lizardman Jack, we receive these new cards Queen of Skulls, the Lizard Dome, Metal Ore, Holy Forge, and last but not least. We receive these new gear. Herns, antlers, and undead bane. Your Half stack is getting done. big! Let us continue. But man, oh man. Apparently we're going after the Squeen the Squeen. The Squeen of Skulls, I was gonna say. Anyways, we're gonna be doing going after the Queen of Skulls in the next episode. But that's gonna be it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like because it does happen a lot. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace out, Girl Scouts.